If you are one of TikTok's 8 million or so users in Kenya, you're probably going to be met with this. Or this. Eight! Seven! One! Or this. I met my husband when I was 37, got married at 39, had my first baby right before my 40th birthday, and my second baby when I was 43. There's still time. It's what's made the platform so popular and even more so lucrative for content creators. However, when darkness falls, you get a completely different experience. This tweet a few months ago attracted quite a bit of reaction from users sharing their own experiences. I decided to venture into this murky side of the popular social media platform to see just what goes on there. At some minutes to 11 p.m. Kenya time, this host begins advertising. Not clothes or shoes, but explicit videos of herself. She directs followers that have now hit close to 400 on this live on how to make purchases. Whoever don't hear, if you are from America, you said $15. If you are from Europe, $15, 15 euro. If you are from UK, you said 15, 15 what, pounds, I don't know. I am selling my... The clock hasn't even struck midnight. In the comments of this host, a user asks the host to perform a sexually suggestive act. Another female host posts an explicit handwritten letter asking to be in the company of a man. You're also met with countless live streams of women suggestively dancing in front of the camera, urging those who've tuned in to send a gift. The icons of either a rose worth one coin or perfume worth 20 coins at the bottom of the screen. TikTok's terms of service under community guidelines are very clear, stating, quote, you may not use the services to upload, transmit, distribute, store, or otherwise make available in any way, including for the purposes of creating and or streaming content, any user content that is obscene, pornographic, and or pedophilic. However, Kenyan TikTokers prefer to go live way past bedtime because they are likely to find individuals who won't report them. Zoom 200. We are going for 200. But going live on TikTok is hardly about the attention. It is the easiest way to earn from the platform. When one hosts a live video, their followers can send them a gift in the form of coins, which they can later redeem for cash. How many pesos I to dance? I'm one day. How many church? Dance with church. <laughs> this quest for extra income attracts individuals willing to do practically anything. The concern, however, is who is watching. Twerking videos. Make sure you follow, follow guys. Follow for more videos. With such content so easily accessible on the platform, how is one so sure the consumers are 18 or over? Guys, stop the screen for me. TikTok has a battalion of moderators specifically tasked with flagging such content. The question is, why haven't they yet? <laughs> 